What's going on guys, my name is Jack or Jack the Bus, and welcome back to another Fortnite challenge guide. In this video, I'm going to be covering the fastest ways possible to complete this week's challenges, allowing you to rank up as fast as possible. Really quick, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and hit that big boy bell so you don't miss daily streams or uploads. Let's get started. Once again, before we dive into these challenges, Epic split up the challenges this season with three each week being free for those without the battle pass and four only available to those who have one. The first reads, deal 500 damage to opponents in a single match. This one is pretty straightforward, of course, not much explained. You'll just have to play a bit more aggressive than usual if your playstyle is more typically passive. The next is just use a launch pad. Recently, Epic did in fact increase the possibility of launch pad spawning in the game, especially in supply drops. The most luck you will have with supply drops will be in 50v50. My best recommendation for you is to queue up for 50v50 and then immediately go to the zone and wait for countless supply drops to fall down. You are definitely bound to receive a launch pad quite easily. The last free challenge is to follow the treasure map found in Flush Factory. I will need the map to show you guys where the battle star is, as the location was actually Data mine. The Flesh Factory treasure map will lead you to this mountain close to Salty, and a battle star should be located in the general vicinity of the stir patch. If you do not find it at first, simply walk around a bit until it pops up. It shouldn't take you very long. Beginning with the paid battle pass challenges, search chests and fatal fields. This may seem easy as there are quite a number of chests in this location, the only problem being that they're very spread out. The best option here is to land right outside of Fatal in this small group of trees and look for a chest. Most people also forget about this hidden chest right inside the small cave. Don't forget that the silo is almost 100% of the time while also holding a chest inside as well. Most of the housing area in the barn will be dominated by players even if they don't have that many chests, but if you stick to the outside you should be good to go. The next challenge reads shoot a clay pigeon at different locations. These locations are all quite spread out and they actually just implemented them a couple days ago. Because they are so spread out though, it makes it nearly impossible to get them all done in one game, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the locations now so you can decide a path for yourself. Next up, eliminate opponents in Haunted Hills. Haunted Hills is definitely a very interesting area. If you're not familiar with it, the most commonly missed feature is a large amount of basement type areas, with most of the stone buildings harboring a secret area underneath containing chests and ammo. The most dominating presence of Haunted Hills is definitely the church, so be sure to gain control of that if you have the weapons available. And for our last challenge of week 3, 3 explosive weapon eliminations. This shouldn't come across too bad as C4 seems to spawn everywhere and is definitely a dominating factor in the game. You can also use the advantage of 50v50 once again by downing an enemy player and then finishing them off with an explosive. Whatever works best. So that guys will quickly cover the week 3 challenges for the Season 5 Fortnite Battle Royale Battle Pass. If this video helped you in any way at all, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as I post daily Fortnite videos and streams right here on the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.